Well, first of all, uh, we've been to many beach destinations and uh, I think one thing that really stood out, first of all, the, the scenery, the water is beautiful. And I think with Lily Beach, I think it's the hospitality. Everyone's just been by far the best in the world and the food is amazing. Right? Yeah, I, I, I would second that. I think it's also that very rarely do you get a combination of the ambience, you know, the place is staying, food and the hospitality. But yeah, like she singled out hospitality. I think it was uh, rather overwhelming when we were like, oh my God, okay. <laughs> Did we just turn into royalty here? <laughs> so it was absolutely incredible, yeah. That's uh, very good to hear. Lily Beach prides itself on its two pillars of food and service. So. We appreciate that. Yeah, and as far as food is concerned, you had a different array of food, the kind of food, seafood, and we from India, and obviously it was great Indian food as well. I just have to add one thing, that um, we were thrilled that there's Indian food because Ahana um, cannot do without Indian food. So people who need their dal chawal, rajma chawal, dal makhani, butter chicken, yes. <laughs> it, was, it was just perfect. I think uh, because of uh, you know the lockdown and immediately once the lockdown was over I got extremely busy Samir got busy um, so our little one was uh, a little neglected so uh, I think this was just a perfect getaway and uh, yes we spent quality time together I think uh, that's probably another unique thing is that to have that balance between place where you can have good family time and good couple time and not be encroaching into each other's space and i think that's it does that beautifully if you're just a couple on a honeymoon you've got these secluded villas on the water which is just amazing and if you're like in a family like the villa we have is fabulous we have a private swimming pool and you get a private beach and you can see so you can be sitting there and your children can be playing in the sand at the same time uh, so it's just got best of everything you can get so i thought very thoughtful of that it doesn't get better than this actually yeah. The beach residence, I think, um, it's, one of, it's, it's one of the nicest uh, villas that we've stayed in. Um, the banana boat. The banana boat? Wow. <laughs> what about the pool? The day we checked in, the first thing you did was jump into the pool. So the banana boat was great fun. I was hoping that, you know, the driver would just go so fast and all of us would fly off and Ahana would fly off but he was very kind <laughs> oh yeah definitely I, I think it was so well organized I mean we knew exactly when to put on the mask when not to put on the mask and we saw everyone pretty much following the rules so the thing of when you have somebody else who's really organized and methodical about what is safe, what is not safe, taking care of it, so it takes like a load off your shoulders. You just follow the instructions and things go really smoothly. You know, even while leaving, we have to take a test, which have already been done. By the clock, three o'clock means three o'clock and everything's taken care of. So you can really enjoy it much more as opposed to living in this fear of COVID. So this is like this heavenly place, in, especially in COVID times, really. Yet, uh, also the protocols were in place. I'm basically a very paranoid person. And, uh, you know, ever since this whole COVID thing started, you know, uh, I've been paranoid wearing my mask. I wouldn't remove my mask anywhere. But what I found very interesting, and, and I'm glad that Lee Beach was, was doing this, at the buffet area and places where you would probably interact with other guests, you had to wear a mask so I thought that was just you know the protocol was in place and perfect made me feel safe she obviously hasn't had enough of the sand <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna be the first one on this <laughs> Go. one word one word is not enough no. for Lily Beach uh, I think uh, I think uh, has to be Quite a few words, you know, because because you all have been so generous, and um, I think we need to be generous with our words. So I think heaven on earth. Ah, uh, you st <laughs> stole mine. Bliss and oh my god, 
Now don't say the third one. I've already you've <laughs> taken care of two words. I was and say. I think um, what else? It's it's just you know we would definitely come back here because I think it's just one of the best family vacations we've ever had. Okay. <laughs> the only word I can add is ditto. Whatever she <laughs> said. But really, it's it's. I think a perfect. The first thing that you know flashed to my mind was uh, love, peace, and harmony. It has just for all your senses in terms of relaxation and the food and the people. It has just a vibe of love, peace, and harmony, and I love that. And what more can you ask for a vacation? And that's why it is. And there's a lot of fun to do as well. So. Yeah, I just want to add to that because people think that you know coming to Maldives, it's so boring. You're stuck on one island. There's nothing to do. But um, I just want to tell you that we've been here for five nights and I think five nights is also not enough. No. You know, you've got your snorkeling, water activities, banana boat, um, okay. fishing, which we're doing today, and the sunset cruise. There's just so much to do here. And that too with kids. And we're not being paid for this. <laughs> just in case. <laughs> not. <laughs> Thank you guys. Thanks, Alice. Thank you.